Today I thought I'd take some time to talk about Robert Tenorio, who is, happens to be one of my favorite potters. He is from Santo Domingo, Pueblo. Sometimes Kiwa is the preferred term. Um, when he was in way, ready to go away to school, to IAIA, he decided he wanted to study jewelry because that's what his family did and he wanted to help support the family. Well, when he got to the school, he was taking his jewelry classes, but something kept pulling him into the pottery classes. So every once in a while, he'd go in there and steal a little bit of clay and try to make something. And finally, one day, one of the instructors caught him and she said, why don't you come here and start making pottery? Well, that happened to be Adelie Lolama, Charles Lolama's wife at the time. So he learned from her and he became quite good at it. He was very fascinated with the whole process. And when he went back home to Santo Domingo, he said to his sisters, he said, instead of making jewelry, let's make pottery because you know that is a tradition here. So he taught his sisters, Hilda and Paulita, how to make pottery. So they started their own little family traditions of making pottery. They do very traditional pieces. Hilda and Paulita are both gone. There's just Robert and his one sister Mary Edna left and she doesn't do much work. He uses the traditional imagery for the most part. This one has deer on it and it's always black and red and white. One of the signature pieces from Santa Domingo is the red lips here and the red base. On the bottom of Robert's pots, you will see usually his name, Robert Tenorio, and on this one it says Kiwa, New Mexico, and you'll notice little stars, little dots. These are the Pleiades. And sometimes when he doesn't put his name on, he just does that. This one again is another one of his deer pots, and it also has kind of leaves or sideways tulips on it, which is another standard motif. This one is much smaller, and again, he's kind of mixed a bunch of geometrics. And this one is quite different for him. It's almost an abstract, but very, very nice. Now, as I said, Robert had family. Hilda, one of his sisters, started to do pottery, and she did it with her husband. And after Arthur passed on, Robert helped her because she was not used to painting. She was used to making the pots. So this is one of her little birds that she made. And then her daughter, Ione, started to do pottery after her, and here is her bird. So you can see they all have the kind of Santa Domingo imagery, and this one even has a little necklace to kind of harken back to the family's jewelry-making careers. Thank you very much, and we'll hope to see you soon. Stay safe.